What's going on, guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe Podcast. My name is Matt. That's my cat. Well, one of two anyway. But I realized that I have not done a regular season prediction for the upcoming season. So what I figured I would do since Anthony Richardson was announced as the starting quarterback yesterday is I would go through each game for the upcoming season, give you guys my prediction, let you know who I think is going to win, all that good stuff. But before I do that, if you're new, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. What's your prediction for the record? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There is a link in the description down below. So with that being said... I don't know what the cat's doing there. We're going to find out later, but let's get into the video and let's start off in week one and a jump to his death. Congratulations. Let's start off in week one. It's going to be at home September 10th and it's going to be against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, it's been a while since the Colts have won a week one game. The last time they won, Chuck Pagano was the head coach. Andrew Luck was the quarterback. And Andrew Luck, I believe, was entering year two. It was in 2013, and it was against the Raiders. After that, they have not won a week one game. It's been a while. Last year, they tied. They had a chance to win if they would have made a field goal. But they did tie that game. So technically, the losing streak is over, but the winless streak is still going on. Can they break that streak? Can the Colts get a win against the Jacksonville Jaguars at home week one? No, they're going to lose week one to Jacksonville. Um, in my opinion, I think Jacksonville is slightly underrated. I honestly think the Jaguars are going to be a top three, top four AFC team just based on how the playoff rankings will finish. I don't think they're a top three team. I think they're a top six team in the AFC for sure. But I do think they're going to land at three or four, in my opinion. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, he's starting to show that he is that quarterback that a lot of people thought he was going to be in the NFL. Rookie year, he struggled. Year two, we started to see towards the end of the season that he was becoming that quarterback. I think he's going to build on that, and I think he's going to be even better than he was last year. The offense is going to be better because now they're going to have Calvin Ridley. So that's just another weapon for Trevor Lawrence um, with um, Kirk. And then you have Ridley, like I said. And then um, Zay Jones, I believe. I believe it's Zay Jones. You have him. I mean, it's going to be a good team, man. And their defense is good. Their defense, I think, is better than what most people give credit for. Jacksonville's going to be a tough team, man. I think there's a chance that Jacksonville makes a run and gets to the AFC Championship. I don't think they win the Super Bowl or get to the Super Bowl, but I think they could absolutely get to the AFC Championship. So they're not going to be an easy team at all. I'm going to go Jacksonville here. I think they get a week one win. Now we're going to move on to week two. It is at Houston against the Texans. This is an intriguing matchup because you got Richardson going up against Stroud two rookies um so it, it's going to be interesting I think though the Colts will win here and the reason why I think Indianapolis is going to win here is simply because I think they have the better team I think they got the better roster top to bottom uh quarterback I you know I think Stroud at this moment will be better than Richardson at that moment but I think that's going to change after this season, even towards the end of the season. But I just think the Colts have the better roster. That's why I'm going to go with the Colts here. I think they win this game. It's a close game, but I do think they're going to get the win here. And then we move on to week three. It's going to be against the Ravens. It is at Baltimore. It's never fun to play in Baltimore. It's a pretty crazy crowd. You know, they hate the Colts, so it's going to be even crazier there. I'm going to go with Baltimore here. Uh, simply put, they have a better team all around. And it's at Baltimore too, which just adds to that as well. Um, I think Richardson is going to struggle in this game. 
it's not easy to go up against the Ravens, especially for a rookie quarterback. You know, he's going to have to learn. This is just going to be a rough game for him. Uh, I got the Ravens, though. The Ravens have had a lot of success against the Colts, too, as of late. I think that continues. So now we're going to move on to week four, and that's going to be against the Rams. It is home. It is in Indianapolis. I know a lot of people feel like the Colts are going to win here because the Rams were just not good at all last season, but I do think they're going to be better this season. I think Stafford is going to get back to what he was the year prior when he was playing really good football. Um, meow to you too. Um, but I think the Rams are going to be a better team than what some people are expecting. I think they're going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to get a wild card spot. Um, so I'm going to go Rams here. I just think they're a better team. I think Aaron Donald is just going to cause problems for Richardson. Although I am excited to see Donald go up against Nelson again. I think that's going to be a fun matchup to watch. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they put Donald against Ryman. You know, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say that the Rams win this game. Then we move on to week five. It is at home. It's against the Titans. So I still think Tannehill is going to start probably for the entire season, if I had to predict. Um, I don't think that Tannehill is going to be benched at all for Willis or for Levis. I think he's going to be the starter. And then after the season, they'll make their decision on whether or not to bring him back or to just cut him and let him go off because it's not going to affect their salary cap much if they cut him. Like, it's not going to have that much of a dead cap. So, uh, I expect Tannehill to play here. You obviously got Derrick Henry, who is still a very good running back. Uh, even though he runs 5,000 times a year, he's still a very dynamic running back. One of the best running backs in the entire NFL. And then they added DeAndre Hopkins, which could go one of two ways, right? Either Hopkins is going to be what some Titans fans expect him to be which is, you know, that, you know, DeAndre Hopkins, that could be a true number one receiver, dominant, just tough to cover, you know, that type of receiver, just one of the better receivers in the NFL. Or he could be just not that great. He could deal with injuries. He could be falling off, all that stuff. Um, I think Tennessee wins here, which sucks. You know, we haven't beat Tennessee in a, a bit. Uh, but I do think they're going to win this game. Um, look, my reason why I think Tennessee wins is simply put, every time I think the Colts are going to win, Tennessee wins. The Colts have to prove they can beat Tennessee. They've proven that they can beat Houston. They've proven that they can beat Jacksonville. But they have not proven as of late that they can beat the Titans. I think the Titans win here. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be a good game but I do think the Titans are going to win this game nonetheless. Then we move on to week six. It's going to be at Jacksonville against the Jaguars. Been a while since we won in Jacksonville. Does that streak end? The answer is no. Again, Jacksonville, I think, is one of the better teams in AFC. Trevor Lawrence is going to be even better by this point, too. Um, I think this is going to be a really good Jacksonville team. I'm just going to be completely honest. I think this is a... A team that is going to be tough to beat. And uh, I think the AFC South in a couple years is going to be a lot of fun to watch because you're going to have C.J. Stroud, Anthony Richardson, and Trevor Lawrence all in the same division, which could be a lot of fun. Um, but I just think Jacksonville is the better team. It's at Jacksonville. They have not won in Jacksonville in years, and I think that continues. I got the Jaguars winning here. Then we move on to week seven. It is going to be against the Cleveland Browns. This is going to be the game where the Colts have their alternate uniforms, the ones they showed off that is mixed as far as reception goes. Um, this is an interesting game because it all comes down to Deshaun Watson and what Deshaun Watson we get. Is Deshaun Watson going to get back to what he was when he was considered a top five quarterback? Or is Deshaun Watson going to stay at what he was this past season? I honestly think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. 
I think he's going to be a top 10 quarterback, but towards the bottom of the top 10. I don't think he's going to be bad this year. I don't think he's going to be great this year. I think he's going to be good. And that's all Cleveland really needs. They just need Watson to be good and consistently good, okay? Because with Baker Mayfield, Baker was good, but he was not consistently good. There were times where he was good, and there were times where he was bad. So I think Watson is going to be consistently good, which is going to help uh, Cleveland a lot. I'm going to take the Browns here. I think that offense is going to be a lot for the Colts defense to handle. And again, I, I still think Richardson is going to be struggling at this point. I think he's going to play better than he did at the start of the season, but not much better. I'm going to go Cleveland here simply because they have the better quarterback. I think Watson is going to be better than what he was last year, which is unfortunate. Then we move on to week eight. It's the Saints. It's home. The Colts have not done well against the Saints as of late. They've been pretty bad against the Saints. Granted, they don't play the Saints very often, but still, they were not good. I think the Saints are going to be better than what uh, some people might think. I think Derek Carr is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the entire NFL. I think he's underrated. I think he's borderline top 10. I think Derek Carr is a quarterback you can win with. I think the Saints are going to be much better because of Derek Carr. And I think they're the clear front runners to win the division. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Saints in this game. I think the Saints are just better, plain and simple. If they got a nice defense, I like their defense a lot. And I think their offense is going to be much better with the addition of Derek Carr. So give me Derek Carr in this game. I think it's going to be close. Give me the Saints in this game. I think it's going to be close, but I do think Derek Carr being in New Orleans is going to it's gonna add something positive for them. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the Saints here. Now we're going to move on to Week 9. It is going to be against the Carolina Panthers. It is at Carolina. Frank Reich is coaching the Panthers. This is going to be a game that a lot of Colts fans are really going to tune into because of Frank Reich being in Carolina. I think the Colts get the win here. I think the Colts do have a better team. I think Carolina has the better quarterback at the moment, but I do think the Colts just have a better overall team. So I'm going to take the Colts here. I think they get the win and they snap that losing streak. Then we go ahead and we travel to Germany as they take on the New England Patriots. Um... Look, Bill Belichick does a great job against rookie quarterbacks. Uh, he always does a good job scheming against them. The Patriots have a really good defense. Um, their offense, I'm not sure how well it's going to do. And I say that because I simply just don't think Bill O'Brien's a good offensive coordinator. I think Bill O'Brien's a bad offensive coordinator. NFL, college, doesn't matter. I just don't think he's a good coordinator. Um, I think Alabama was winning games in spite of Bill O'Brien. I think if they had a good offensive coordinator, Alabama wins the national championship with Bryce Young. Um, but I'm still going to go with them. I think they're going to win simply because I think Bill Belichick is going to scheme a defensive game plan and for, put one together that is going to be able to mess with Richardson. I just don't think that the Colts are going to be able to win that game. So unfortunately, it pains me to say they're going to lose to the Patriots. Week 11, it's a bye week. Yay, celebration. Then we move on to week 12. It's against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It is home. This could honestly go anyway. I could see it going either way. Here's why. How is Baker going to play? Is Baker going to be Baker and just not be that good? Or is Baker going to have one of those games where he just goes nuts and he goes off? And he plays phenomenal. And he makes people think that he could be a franchise quarterback. What game are we going to get? I think it's going to be the former. The first. I don't think Baker's going to be all that good in this game. Uh, the Bucks are just not that great of a team. I think they're honestly one of the worst teams in the NFL roster wise. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the Colts in this game. Um, I think it'll be close. 
but I do think the Colts win this game. Then we move on to week 13. It's going to be at Tennessee against the Titans. Again, I think Tannehill is playing in this game. You know, I think him and Hopkins chemistry is going to be forming. I think they're going to have something going there, assuming Hopkins can play good football. I think the Titans win this game. Again, Colts have to prove they can beat Tennessee. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the Titans here. Then we move on to week 14. It is at Cincinnati. I think the Bengals win this game, and I don't think it's going to be particularly close. I don't see anybody in that secondary being able to guard Jamar Chase and being able to guard Tyler Boyd and being able to guard any of the offensive weapons they have on the receiving end. I just, Higgins, and I I think Cincinnati's offense is just going to be too much for the defense, and I think Cincinnati's defense is going to be able to shut down the Colts' offense. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Cincinnati Bengals. I think Cincinnati's also going to be playing in a we're trying to win our division type of mode and maybe going for first in the AFC type of mode. So I, I, I just, I don't see Cincinnati letting, I don't see them letting up. Then we move on to week 15 It's going to be against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, last year it was pretty close. The Colts honestly could have won that game. If we had better uh, clock management, I think the Colts, probably win that game against the Steelers in all honesty I think the Steelers are going to be better this year I think Kenny Pickett is going to be better this year I think him and Pickens is going to be a lot of fun together I wanted George Pickens I'm happy we went with Alec Pierce but if we could have got Pierce and Pickens that would have been pretty fun I'm going to go with the Steelers here Steelers they seem to have a lot of success against the Colts I don't know why Um, I think it continues, though. I think the Colts will lose uh, Week 15 to the Steelers. Then we move on to Week 16. It is going to be at Atlanta. This is where we start to see Richardson show that he can be the franchise quarterback. I think this is where he starts to get it. I think this is where he improves. Um, Atlanta could be a good team this year. Is Ritter going to be able to step up and be the quarterback they need him to be? That is really the question. Um, I do think the Colts win this game, though. I think the Colts get the win here. I think Richardson is going to play a really nice game here. So Christmas Eve, it's a Christmas gift to all of us Colts fans. Colts win against the Falcons. Then we move on to Week 17, and that is going to be against the Las Vegas Raiders. It is home. In Indianapolis, um, I think the Raiders are going to be a good team this year. I think the Raiders are going to be looking for revenge. I think they could be battling for a playoff spot. Uh, Don't count Jimmy Garoppolo out. There's just something about Jimmy Garoppolo where he can get the job done and help you get to a playoff. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the Raiders in this game. Close game, but I think the Raiders will eke out a win here. Um... Again, I I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be better in uh, Vegas than what some people think. I think they got a pretty solid defense, at least on the front. The secondary is uh, to be questioned, but I think the Raiders win this game. And then we move on to Week 18, the final game of the year. It is home. It is against the Houston Texans. I think in this game, C.J. Stroud is going to be better than what he was Week 2. I think he's going to show potential and promise. I think Richardson, same thing, but the Colts have the better team. It is in Indianapolis. They're going to get the win here. I think that the Colts are just too much for the Texans. The Texans might have the worst roster in the entire NFL. Hopefully, you know, they don't play great. So there you guys have it. That is my prediction. So that means we have a total of one, two, three, Four, five wins. I have them going five and twelve this year, beating the Texans twice, beating the Panthers, beating the Buccaneers, and beating the Falcons. That is what I have for the Colts, and that's gonna do it, guys. It was a long video, but we went through the entire schedule. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new, 
haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like the video, smack the like button, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Am I stupid? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There is a link in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt, Bleed Blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.